In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit videos in Canva. Now, this will be a step by step tutorial which explains the basic Canva features that you need to know before you start editing your first video on Canva. Now, you can create very professional looking videos on Canva, and I'm going to show you how you can do that in this video. So, first, you want to go to canva.com. Now, once you're here, you need to think what video do you want to create? Now, this is important because the dimensions are going to change depending on the video, right? So, let's say you wanted to make a TikTok. You will go to Canva and type in TikTok and you can then search for a TikTok. From here, you can then browse these 3000 templates and choose one of these. Or if you go to create blank, you can start to create a TikTok from scratch here. Now, it's important to note when you start creating your video, you can't then change the dimensions of that video without Canva Pro or Canva Premium. So you need to kind of like think beforehand about what video you actually want to make. If you just want to make a standard landscape video, then you can just go here and type in video. If you want to make a Facebook video, then type in here Facebook. Facebook video and the dimensions are going to be different, right? So you need to think, okay, why do I want to make this video? Where is this video going to go? If you just want to make a standard landscape video, like I'm going to show you type in video, then just go ahead and search for video. And here you'll see all of these different templates you can edit from. Now you can edit from a template if they look good to you. If you go to all filters and scroll down, you can choose the free templates. So click on free, click apply, and you can choose these templates if they are good to you. I'm going to show you from a blank video because I think it's the best way for you to learn and to realize that there are so many features in Canva that you can use and you can create something from scratch yourself. So we're going to go ahead and create a blank video and that's what I advise you to do as well. Now once you're inside of Canva video, you're going to see here is your video preview. Down below here is going to be your timeline and you're going to have here page one, which is going to be video one. You've got here page two, which is going to be video two. You can add as many videos to this timeline as you want. So now if we look to the left here, you've got design and I'm going to cover all of these in detail in a second. So you don't have to worry about remembering any of this, but here you've got design and here what you can do, you can add different templates or different video styles and different colors, right? Here you've got elements and here you can add different shapes, different graphics, and you can go ahead and add stickers, which Canva put on and you can add all these to your videos. And a lot of these are already animated and you know, they're going to add some spice to your video, right? You've then got text, you've got here your brand colors. You can also upload your own content and videos to Canva, which will all be done here. Then you've got draw and projects, which you don't really need to use. And then if you go to apps, you've got some apps that you can import into your videos. These are more complex stuff, but you can import like an AI avatar. You've got Murph text to speech, and there are many more apps that Canva are putting inside of Canva. And but for creating videos and just using the standard video editor, these aren't really necessary. They also have videos here where they have Canva's library of stock footage, which you can use for your own videos. If you don't see videos, by the way, just go to apps scroll down and then you'll see videos here. So if it's not on the left on this column here, just go to apps, go to videos and you should see it. Right. So now we need to start dragging in clips. Now we need to decide now what clips are we going to drag in and where are we going to get them from? Maybe you already have your video clips on your computer. In that case, you can upload them. If not, you can drag clips from Canva itself, or you can go to an external website like Pexels and search for royalty free clips. So I've searched for Bangkok here and I've already downloaded two clips of Bangkok. And you just want to go ahead and find any of these videos, click download, and you can use these clips royalty free. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to upload clips. Alternatively, if you want to use Canva's library, you can do, you can also search for videos here. So if we go to uploads, you can then go to upload files and here you can then upload the videos that you've downloaded. So just click on them and click open. Now I've already uploaded these. So here you can see I've got these two videos of Bangkok. We'll just drag on these clips of the beach. So I'll drag on the first clip here. It's going to snap to the dimensions. Now, if it doesn't snap to the dimensions and it comes in like this a bit smaller, you can just go ahead and and resize this to the dimensions of your clip, right? Now you'll notice that your clip will also be added to the timeline. If your clip is really long, it will go off the screen, right? And you're going to have to scrub through it. And there'll be a slider here that you can scrub through it with. Now this clip here is 20 seconds long and I don't need all 20 seconds for my video. So I'm going to go to the best bit, which is kind of like here, and I'm going to crop it. So if we go to the start of the clip, the cursor changes and we can then crop inwards. Alternatively, you can go to this scrub tool and you can scrub it to where you want it to start. And if you click S, it's going to split 
split those two clips. So maybe you want your video to start there and end there. So if you then click S, you've split the clips and you can delete all of this other stuff that you don't need. And now you've got the part of the video that you want to keep, which is 5.9 seconds long. Maybe we'll just drag this down to about four seconds. I'm also going to go to volume and mute this. I'm not sure if there is any volume anyway. I don't have my headphones on right now, but I'm going to add music to this eventually. So I don't need the volume. So now let's play this clip and you can see it's drawing footage over a beach. Now we can add text to this clip. We can also import other clips, but first I'm going to go ahead and add text and then I'll show you how you can add effects, how you can add transitions, get things moving around the screen. And then I'll show you how you can export your clip and be done. So I kind of need an angle for this video. So I'm just going to make like a travel video. So I'm going to go ahead and go to text and from text here, we can then import text template. So I'm going to choose one here. If it has a crown next to it, it means it's a pro text template which means you can't use it with a free plan let's just try and find one which is going to be good here i like this one i'm going to remove this text below it but this text is quite bold and we'll go with this right so i don't actually need any of this other text so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on it and then just click delete and i can delete everything here that i don't want on second thoughts i don't actually like this but what we're going to do anyway we're going to run with it i'm going to highlight it and i can actually just go to fonts and i can change this font here so i recently used this font which is good archivo black and it's a nice bold font so what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight all of this text and we're going to go to the text color and you've got all of your text editing options up here and then i'm going to change this to white and i'm going to highlight this and i'm just going to type something like i don't know solo travel now this is actually looking pretty good i don't really need to resize it but if i did i can change the sizing options here or change like the margin options or how stretched you want your text to be i can also select it all and then increase and decrease the font here if i go to alignment i can make sure this is aligned properly so we can go center middle right or left and I can also move this and snap this to the middle of the page here. Right, so we've got solo travel. So now what I'm going to do, if I click on the clip, I can go ahead and click edit video. And you can see the clip's highlighted because it's got this purple rectangle around it. If I go edit video, we can add a filter. So maybe we want like a darker filter so we can see the text. So we'll add this Kali filter and I'll bring the intensity up a little bit. You can also go and adjust manually. So maybe I want to bring this so it's quite warm and maybe the shadows, I'll bring them down and I'll fade up. And you're going to have to play around with this depending on your clip and what effect you're going for. You can also add a vignette, which is going to make the corners a bit more darker. So now we've got solo travel. What I'm also going to do is click on the text and you can go here and add effects to the text. So I can add like a background if I want, like a glitch effect. I guess that looks all right. You can also change the colors of that effect and add many other effects here. I'm going to also go to animate and if you go to animate you've got all of these text animations which you can preview just by hovering over them yeah solo travel that one's quite good so we're going to run with that on enter you can actually have it to animate on enter on exit or both so we'll keep that right then we'll click on the video and we can edit the video itself so if you go to position you can either zoom in zoom out you can also click animate on the video and it will kind of like animate as the video starts if you go to page animations you can get even more animations these are kind of more transitions though to be honest so i'm not going to touch these right now but we're just going to keep it as it is now we'll drag on a second video and i'll show you how you can add transitions and then how you can add music and even text to speech right so we'll go to uploads we'll add another video that we've uploaded so i'll just drag in this one of a beach now again i'm going to drag this clip down to about four seconds and i'm going to then copy this text element from this clip to the other one so if you go to this text element and click copy and you can do this on any element on the page by the way whether it's images text videos you can copy anything then i'm going to go back to this one and click paste okay so now we've got the text element and that's going to paste it with all of the effects and everything now i'm going to write here i don't know the best opportunity for personal growth and this is obviously very big so we're going to click on that highlight all of it and we're going to bring this font size down by quite a bit and obviously you would have a video in mind that you're making i'm just kind of making one up as we go along for the youtube video the best opportunity for personal growth so that looks all right we're going to center that all right so now let's take a look at our video so we'll play our video here solo travel the best opportunity for personal growth. Now, one thing that is missing, I need these same effects on the first video on the kind of like second video here. So if I go back and click on the video, I can right click and copy style. Now I've got it copied. Look, you'll see this paintbrush tool. You can then click and it should then add that style to the video. So now that should be done. We've made this a bit darker. So now one last thing, we're going to add transitions. Then we can add music and text to speech. 
So if you go ahead and hover over the middle of your two clips, these two buttons are going to appear. You can add another page, which is going to mean you can add a clip in between these. I'm just going to delete that though. You can also go to add transitions and that's going to bring up some transitions. So you've got dissolve, you've got slide. There's not a lot of transitions, but choose which one which best matches your video. We'll just go with color wipe and we'll leave these colors on default just for the video. So one last thing, we'll go ahead and add some audio. So if we go ahead and go to apps, you can then go to audio, just scroll down a little bit and you should see it. You can then upload audio from Canva, or again, you can upload your own audio in the audio tab. So I'm just gonna type for travel and we'll just drag on a travel song. Now all of these are premium. So let's go to the filters, see if we can filter for free, we can't. So this one is free. Alternatively, if you can't find much many audio on Canva, so we'll try Pixabay. Pixabay is another royalty free website and on Pixabay, if you go ahead and select here music, you can type in and select what music you want. So I'll do that now. So I've just typed in travel. You can then go ahead and download one of these travel songs. And these are royalty free. You've just got to credit the people who made them. Now that's downloaded, we can go back to Canva. We can go upload, upload files and upload that audio here. So it's going to upload. So I'm going to drag on this audio and you can see we can drag it right here. Now, if you're not happy with like where the audio starts, you can kind of like drag it through and you can start at a good starting point, right? You can also like drag it. So if you only want the audio to start on the second clip, then you can just drag it how you want it. So let's play this and we'll kind of like finalize the video. I think that goes really well. I mean, you can also beat sync. So it's going to like match the beat to the clips, but that's getting into more complex stuff. You can also add audio effects as well. Yeah, maybe we want to fade it in and also fade it out. Why not? So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you can edit. Let's just watch it one more time. So there you go. If you then are happy with your video, you've got the duration on the top right, you can go to share. You can then download this and make sure you download it as MP4. You want to make sure all pages are selected. Then click download. It's then going to download your video to your computer in your downloads folder. And that's been the basics of editing a video in Canva. You can get creative and do many things in this, but I just wanted to make this video quickly. So I hope that video helped you out and was informative. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comment section below.